Okay, so today's project is to remove this door furniture and strip it and see what's underneath it. I know these aren't brass, solid brass, because a magnet sticks to them, which means there's a base metal in there. So I'm not anticipating they'll come up nice and bright, but hopefully we'll get some of that paint off and get them looking better. I'll come back to you when I've done that. First of all, um, I can't even get to the screws because they've been painted with layers and layers and layers. So I've popped some paint stripper just on all those bits that I need to do to be able to remove the door furniture. So I'll clean that off. That needs to sit on there for about 15 minutes. Then I'll unscrew and take everything apart. I should be able to slide the shank straight out and I'll keep this side intact. And then all of that will be soaked in vinegar and brought to the boil. And then I'll scrub it up with some steel wool. Anyway, I'll show you when I've done that. If we look at this again, you can see it's bubble, bubble, bubble. And that should all come off quite nicely now. Um, I'm hoping that'll work. Okay, so I've removed the screw out of the door handle for those that have never removed furniture. This the door furniture, this is what you do. So you remove the screw and then it comes, I'll just hold this with my foot, it comes off the shank. So you have your door handle here, which looks pretty gross. And there's the screw that was in there. And then I should be able to just pull this straight out on the other side like so and there's my other door handle i will pull that one apart and i'll clean clean this shank up as well get rid of the rust and that'll all come up nicely i'll show you how i do that shortly it may not come easy oh look at that it's off and it looks like we've had creatures or something living in there anyway so that's off um, that is so thick with paint, but I'll get it looking a lot better, I promise. Furniture is removed, front and back. Um, and you can see this is probably bare wood. It had oiling on it at some point. And over here, it obviously had yellow, but in all the paint layers, I saw pink, I saw green, I saw a few shades of white and cream, so... Now I was hoping to avoid removing this, but I think I may have to. It's just not coming up very clean for me. Um, so I'm gonna to attempt to do that with one hand. But basically what I did was put my screwdriver in here and then I just sort of pushed it along and you can see that's popping out. It only had one screw in it. Uh, this screw was missing. So that's all that was holding it in anyway. And now you can see, sorry for the camera work guys, I'm trying to do this with one hand. You can see, I'll pull this out and there's the mechanism, there's the door cavity and now I should be able to clean that up and I'll show you how that works. Okay. Okay, while I wait for the stuff in the vinegar, so all the door finishes, all the door parts are in the vinegar, I'm warming the vinegar from cold to boiling. Um, and that will hopefully strip off any grime and it will also um, take any paint off. Now, I tried to sand this uh, section of paint back, but honestly, it's so thick, so I've popped some stripper on it because when I put the door furniture back on, I don't necessarily want to be 
refurbishing the doors right now because I've got a lot of other projects to do. Okay, all boiled and I'm just gonna pull things out with, first of all, I'm gonna take this lock out with a, with tongs because they're hot. You can see how hot it is. I'm just popping it on the sink and then I'm gonna start trying to clean it up. So it just takes a bit of elbow grease, see the difference? That was in vinegar, this wasn't. Amazing. You can see this is super hot. And it stinks, vinegar stinks. Now this, I don't know if you can see, this is just peeled away. Can you see that? And all it is is vinegar. Okay, so I'll just, I don't really want to be scraping the surface with this, but I've just got, because I don't want to damage it, but it's really thick here with paint so I just want to see if I can pick up a corner just to break the seal of it <coughs> always very difficult when you've got gloves on but you need gloves because I don't know what this paint is I'm assuming it would be lead based keep it a bit wet didn't stay very lovely why it was ever covered with paint I don't know Um, I do probably need to get some steel wool that's finer. This is just the stainless steel. Because I'm very conscious of not wanting to damage the surface. That's why I haven't used a wire brush on these. You could use a wire brush, but I'm so worried I'm going to damage it. I don't know if you can see. Look at that. See, and this is what I thought it would come up like. Just all different base metal. It looks like there's nickel in there. It's probably copper plate. Okay, this is them cleaned up. As you can see, plenty of wear and tear, but look a lot nicer this came up beautiful that's brass that's not plated that's actual brass it's really heavy so I've got a couple of those on a few doors now the decision is to keep as is paint them black uh, or try and replate them myself doing electroplating so if we put the handles in that's what they would have Look like I suspect they were black originally because I removed a fair bit of black paint uh, up close to this surface and then it had I, I don't know maybe 10 15 20 coats of white and cream and pink and green paint so anyway I'm happy with that now just to show you too I did the backs. I didn't scrub real hard on those. I brought them up a little bit cleaner. They were just black like what's in here. I didn't bother because that's actually going against the door. You won't see it, but that certainly looks a lot better.
looking so much better.